Hi, this is John Arnson from Courthouse Technologies, and this is Courthouse JMS training video on Summons Printing Basics. First off, we would be at the login screen. This is where we would enter our username and password. When we enter our username and password, it takes us to our default screen. In most cases in Courthouse JMS, our default screen is the calendar view. Before we print a summons, we first have to make sure that we have a pool created, as we cannot print a summons unless we have a pool created on our calendar. To print summonses, we would go to File, Print, Summons. This would take us to a pool selection screen. We have a drop-down box where we would pick the pool we wish to print summonses for. We then select our pool and it takes us to the print summons grid. Once we're here, the first thing that we want to look at is the top left corner of the header section where we would unclick the top box. This would deselect everybody on our list. We then go to the group order header. We want to sort by the group order number because in the case of a printer jam, we'll know where the jam occurred and reprint will be easy. Down the bottom left, we have the total number selected by the total number on the list. In most cases, this would be the same number. We then have the Do Not Print Previously Deferred box. When this is checked on, you are not going to be printing summonses for people who were previously deferred from other pools and are now on this pool. You can do this because each candidate has an ID number that is with them for the life of the system. And therefore, if they have a previous summons, they can use that previous summons when they have to show up for this particular pool. In this case, we'll leave it checked off. We then go to the printer selection. This is a drop-down box that gives you the list of all the printers that you have access to. You pick the printer you wish to print the summonses on. From here, we click the Print Summons button, and it gives us a recap as well, just in case we wish to cancel at the last minute. It then shows us that the summonses are printing. After the summonses are printed, it takes us back to the calendar view. For this particular training video, I want to quickly go through this process again, because there's something important that happens after you print the summons. If you pick your pool again, you'll notice that the candidate ID numbers are black and italicized. This shows that they have already been printed. You can also click on a candidate ID number, which is a link to a candidate record. In the candidate record, if we go to the history, it'll show us that the summons has been printed for this particular candidate. This history is automatically generated. If you have any other questions on printing summons, please contact us at 877-521-2199 or email us at support at courthouse-technologies.com. Thank you.